Hello everybody, Fiber Spider back again with Skyrim Magic Only Edition. Alright, so we are gonna deal with some deadbeats today. So after successfully locating the Ragged Flagon, Brynjolf has given me a new assignment. Three business owners in Riften are proving to be a thorn in his side, and I'm supposed to teach them the error of their ways. I should speak to Brynjolf about these townspeople in the event that they prove to be as stubborn as I'm expecting them to be. Well, I already have the optional, so I don't need to do that. So, yes, we can steal Helga's statue of Debella, use Talon J to get to Kirava, and smash Barissi's prived dwarven urn. Produce. Get them before they're gone. So, let's don't take this the wrong way. But you look a little sickly. Thank you. Actually, you know what, speaking of which, um, <laughs> uh, that would be under magic, let's see, active effects, am I actually sick? Whitbane, ah, apparently I am sick. Okay, well, you know what, we can fix that. Uh, do 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 do, let's see. Cure disease. There we go. There we go. That'll help. Okay, so, first things first. The pond prawn, I think that said. Alrighty. So, ah, yes, you with the urn. Okay, so, that being said... Ah, you know what? Let's do bound sword. You know, like, well, you know what? We could talk to you first. Let's talk. So, can I interest you in anything today? Well, I have a message from Brynjolf. But first, actually, what have you got oh, for sale? This and a bit of that. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll take care of this bit first, and then harass him. So yeah, let's sell the orcish bow, uh, banded iron shield and boots. Sure, clothes for armor. Okay. Uh, okay, those I want to keep because I want to disenchant those. You can do those, and get the garnet ring, sure. Um, let's see, ingredients, no, food. Aha, yes, let's sell all this stuff. There we go. And books. Sure, let's get rid of that, and... I already have sparks, so yeah, we can do that, and that, keep that. Miscellaneous. Yes, you know what? Let's get rid of the Arantino family heirloom. It's only 39 gold. Uh, Garnet, sure. And yes, okay, we're good. All right, so now I have a message from Brynjolf. What? Oh, it's one of you people. What do you mean by that? So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Well, simple. You don't pay? Bad things happen. By the way, is it me or does that sword keep moving? Yes, the sword <laughs> the sword keeps moving. Why is that? Um let's yeah, bad things happen. Petty threats and fist waving are not going to sway me. Oh. You people are all talk. And everyone knows it. Really? You demand payment for protection, and you can't even protect yourselves. Oh, we can protect ourselves, trust me. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. Really? Okay, I, I've had enough of this. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do, so uh -huh. I'm afraid you'll just have to leave. Right, okay. My husband, Darcy, will be the guy me. He spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. What do you think of this? I can't pay. I can't. It's not even happening. No, you're going to break okay. Pay them there we go. Now you want to pay? No! That urn was priceless. Well, now it's in pieces, you know. It, <laughs> it Now it's formless. Um, so you, you want me to break anything else? Hmm? Alright, I get it. I'll pay on time from now on. Good! Just don't smash anything else. Here, take your gold, and leave me in peace. Thank you. Alright, let's go. 
Okay, one down, two to go. Yeah, the reason why I used Bound Sword is because I didn't want to use projectile um, flames all over the place. I, I thought that it would be that it would behoove me um, to use something a bit more confined. But I don't have any weapons, and using my fists, well, yeah, that's really going to work well. So, by the way, how are all of you fabulous people today? Okay, let's talk to Tell and Jay. What do you want? So, how did you meet Karava? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. Aww. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. Uh-huh. Well, I could try at some point. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Uh-huh. Okay, so... let's see... Ah, yes, you might want to talk some sense into her, by the way. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Smart man. Okay, so then help me convince her to pay. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside ah. of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Alright, cool. Alright, so now I have to talk to Kirava now, apparently. And if you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. You're excused. Here for Hello. a or something to drink? Throw me some coin first. You know, maybe some tea with lemon and honey would, you know, help you. Well, you sound a bit hoarse. Want something or not? Okay, so, um, are you ready to pay Brynjolf what you owe? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. Oh, sassy, aren't you? Maybe I should visit that farm in Morrowind. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Well then, pay, and I'll forget about it. Very well. Here. Take this back to Brynjolf, and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. Okay, I'll tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, two down. One to go. We got the message. We got the message. Now just take your business elsewhere. I'm doing that, Mr. Lizard Man. I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. Alrighty, so... Next up, down this way... At the bunkhouse. Okie dokie. Okay, now I already know from previous experience there be the statue. And stolen. Hello. It's you. Please don't hurt me. Not gonna hurt you, but uh, should I drop this statue down a well? Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. It's I not a message. her, it's an it. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. Thank you, thank you. Mission accomplished. Alright, so, now I have to return to Brynjolf. No problem there. We got this. Uh, you know what, let's just go down this way. Do 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 I love this game. You know, fortunately, right now, yes, I know exactly what I'm doing because I've done it a number of times already. So, I'm going through it pretty quick. Alright, down into the retway. Oh, you know what, also... No, I don't think I'm gonna run into any nasties. Pretty much cleared the ratway out. See? Hello. Hi. And we can cross the bridge, because we already took care of that last time, I think it was. And down to the Ragged Flagon. 
Now it would be really convenient once I get access to the quote-unquote secret entrance to the graveyard. That makes things a lot easier. Hello. Excuse me. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. All right. So, Ready off. Job's done, and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Well, I'm zestfully clean. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. All right. So, here's what they owed us. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Yes. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Ooh, what do we got? Weak poison, drought of health, and pickpocket. At oh, okay, cool. All right, so what's next? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. Aha! So, if there is more gold where that came from, I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Okay, so before we go, I have to ask... What's on your mind? Word is your outfit isn't doing well. True? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Yeah, sounds about fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. All right. So, you're... Okay, so now we're going to go to the cistern, I believe. I think you better listen to Mercer and Brynjol first. We can talk later. Okay. There we go. So yes, I believe we're going to go to the cistern, and we are going to get sort of inducted into the Thieves' Guild. However, since I spent so much time in my last Let's Play, on the Thieves' Guild, I want to branch out. At least I will have this aspect of the game started. Okay, so we're just gonna have to stand here and wait for Brynjolf, because he takes his sweet time. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the Guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. I'm the no heavy debates, hitter around no discussions. Here. When someone needs pushing like around, say, when I'm the one they send in. Do I make myself clear? Yes, I understand. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow. You're not Golden Glow. Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work, so let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer. Aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. <laughs> Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. I won't. So, how do I get my cut of the spoils, huh? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. That's cool. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. All right, awesome sauce. Okay, so... Do, 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 do. Yeah, I guess Golden tell me about Glow the Golden Glow. Is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart-mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. So, what's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Okay, well, 
makes sense. Hi. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. All right. So, what should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. All righty. So, you watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries yeah, don't Yeah, see, now prisoners. I can use the um uh, the, the secret entrance exit thingy over there. And you know what? I think we're going to... Wanted to say something to you. Go out to Riften. Because... Yeah, you need something? Yeah, I, I need to... Still here. Nope, nope, nope. Let's get going then. Activate the pull chain. That's what I want. There we go. So now, we have a shortcut. Also, I want to pick up this nightshade, which grows in graveyards. I love it so. Just do a little bit of harvesting here. And that appears to be it. Okay, so now, as far as our quests, I'm not going to do the Golden Glow Estate yet, because I want to get more experience under my belt first. Then, of course, there's the Dawn Guard, and there's the Way of the Voice. We haven't even spoken to the Greybeards yet. Um, also, as far as the miscellaneous, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes, visit the College of Winterhold. See, that is ultimately where I want to go. So, because I would love to, you know, get my magical skills more up to snuff. So, we've got quite a distance to go, don't we? Um, now, I've been to Fort Kestov? I have, okay. It's been a while, you know. So, I'm thinking we'll start at Fort Kastav, and we will work our way north. Because I really want to get started in on the whole, you know, magic school, Hogwarts kind of deal. Alright, so... Checking the map. Okay, yes, we have quite a distance to go. So, let's set location there. Okay. Alright, so, let's get our weapons at the ready, so to speak. Oh, poor horsey. And he's empty, too. Alright, so we have to go in this general direction. Uh-oh. Are you friend or foe? Who are you? Are you finished ogling the grotesque? I suppose what? I should be grateful you didn't simply attack me. No, well, your skin. Are you ill? I am one of the afflicted. I'd have been dead from this plague a year ago if not for Periite's protection. Okay, so where are you going? Returning to High Rock. Our shepherd lost his way, and I fear Periite's wrath may consume those who remain with him. Kesh could tell you more. I just want out of Skyrim as quickly as possible. O okay. Well, let, let's keep going on our merry way. Uh oh, I see wolves. Or is that a fox? Is that a wolf or a fox? What is that? Oh, it's a little foxy! Hi, foxy! Pelt. Thank you. There we go. Nothing wrong with getting some flowers out of the deal. Oh, also, <laughs> didn't do didn't do this yet. There we go. Quick save, Mr. Goat. Don't go. Come back here. You too. There we go. Okay, now I hear some rather ominous music all of a sudden. Oh! Uh-oh. We got ourselves a dragon. Is he going to be a problem? By the way, where... Oh, I was about to say, where have you been? Don't don't leave me now. Okay, yeah, uh, let, let's conjure an Atronach real quick. I have a feeling we might need him.
Just in case, you There's never know. Cave here. Think we should check it out? There's a cave where here? Berries! Down here? I don't see a cave, Brynjolf. Brynjolf. So I'm wondering. Uh, ooh, destruction. All right, do I have enough where I can level up? No, not even by a long shot. Let's see, intense flames. No, I really need to work on. Yeah, let's see, impact. Well, no, no, no. Impact. No, come on. Impact. There we go. Requires 40. Great. Okay. That being said, let's keep moseying on, shall we? You know, if I can get to uh, the Skyrim version of Hogwarts this episode, would, that would be fabulous. Not very likely, but it would be fabulous. Winterhold, huh? Oh, I see somebody. Friend or foe? What are you? You look like a soldier. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Ah, Time yeah. Haven't heard, heard a thing about that. Oh, we got another lone traveler here. Hello. Are oh. you finished ogling the grotesque? No, no, no. I should be grateful you didn't simply attack. Oh, uh, we got quite a bit to go to get there, but, you know, we're gonna do what we can. Oh! Mutton! Come back, Mutton! Uh-oh! Wolfie Wolf! You're feisty! Ah! Ah! Really? Jeez. Feisty! Okay. I'm gonna get your friend here. There we go. Also, we can do a, a fast heal. Sure. Push pow! Okay, also, I'm thinking maybe fire bolts would be better. Given our circumstances. You know, a nice long range bit of damage. That and of course I'm expecting the worst. That's what I do. Oh, we got ourselves a town. Oh, I think we're almost there. Oh, awesome saws. Okay, we're safe. For now. Alright, let's get to the college, shall we? And you'd have me do what? Join the college and prance about casting spells all day? Then a murder over in Don't just walk away from me. Oh, argumentative townsfolk. Gotta love them. Alright, let's go to the college. Hello. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. You're very confident of yourself, so... I know what this place is, but I'm gonna ask anyway. You know, why are you out here? I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Well, um... You know, a... a a snarling little fox just passed by you, and you didn't even bat an eye. Um, okay, uh, so may I enter then, please? Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Well, let's see. I desire to bend the will of those around me. I want to unravel the mysteries of Aetherius, and I want to use the power of ice and fire to destroy any who oppose me. Mm. First one! 
I see. That power certainly exists, I assure you. Wield it faithfully, and few can withstand you. It would seem that the College has what you seek. The question now is, what can you offer the College? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. I've got some skills. A small test, if you will. Okay. Well, I do have pretty good persuasive skills, but she's going to be tough, so... Well, we'll try it anyway. No, I'm afraid I don't know anything of the sort. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll take your little test. Excellent. Those invested in restoration magic find healing hands to be essential. Can you cast it on me? That would prove your skill. Uh, I... I'm not sure if I know that spell, but okay, sure. I look forward to it. Okay, um... Healing hands... Do I have that ability? Uh, no, I don't actually. All right. The college is an asset to Skyrim, even if it goes unnoticed or unappreciated. Okay. Um. Well, I don't know the heal other spell. <laughs> no. Well, if you think you're capable of it, then I'd be happy to provide it to you for a mere uh, thirty gold. Shyster. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around Skyrim. They also sell spells. You know what? Thirty is totally doable. Okay. Here, give me the spell. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. Will do. Okay, also, I did notice... No matter what, the college uh, will Yes, training in destruction magic. There's nothing more I can teach you. Oh. Okay. All right, so then, let's see. Mm -hmm. Uh, do 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 Should be under books. No? Or do I just know it now? Okay. Uh, magic restoration, healing hands. Okay, so favorite that, equip that. Okay, and well there we done go. Indeed, I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. And it I'll only cost me thirty gold. Bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please follow me. Okay. It's off to Hogwarts we go. She wants me to follow her, but if I follow her, it'll take ten years. Okay, just gotta be careful on this bridge, which I hate. I don't like skinny bridges with no railings. Not for nothing. Ah, the College of Winterhold. Yay! Berries! Gotta love berries. Lots of berries. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You may be used to the Empire bowing to your every. See, there's that box I'm again. You'll find the Thalmor received no such treatment here. Welcome to the college. Thank you. I was told to come see you. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them. You may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. What did I get? I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Novice hood, novice robes, and boots. Well, actually, I have better robes, I think. Um, yeah, I'd like to have a look around. Wonderful. Please follow me, and don't oh. wander off. Okay. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. Okay, so she's basically like, you know, Professor McGonagall in Harry Potter. I mean, that that's basically the equivalent. You know, she's, you know, the headmaster's second in command, more or less. So, where are we going? 
These NPCs are so slow. Yes or no? Correct me if I'm wrong. And we have like a random fox just running around rampant. You know, kind of glitchy. Maybe I'll take care of him later. Our newest members are housed here, in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Okay. The Hall of Attainment. All right, which is now my I'll room? show you to your quarters. You're which going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This First is where you'll door be on the, on the right. This okay. bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. Okay. Let me just grab that real quick. Ooh. Yeah, so it's the first door on the right, so to speak, even though it doesn't have a door. Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards. Alright. So, oh, and there's that fox again. Shall I meet you there? Okay, you are obnoxious. I don't like you. Looks like the snow fox already got hit. Okay, yeah, see, look at her! She's like, yes, I'm going for a Sunday stroll. Oh, come on. Really? Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in. Oh. And if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Okay. So I completed the tour. Okay! So, now we have to listen to Tolfdir, which he is through that door and he's lecturing some students right now, but I think we are going to end this episode here. You know, I just, I wanted to deal with the deadbeats in Riften first. You know, now I'm officially a member of the Thieves Guild, but right now I want to explore more of the magical side because, well, this is the magic only edition. What better place to do it? So, with that being said, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Please like the, you know, the little, 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 you know, the little like button. Hit that like button, please. You know, any comments are welcome. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Until next time, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.